What's up, Rochachos? It's your boy Tanner Wyman of Barbarian Body. Today I've got you a killer upper body home dumbbell workout. We're gonna be hitting everything. Chest, shoulders, triceps, back, forearms, we're hitting it all. This will be extremely gruesome. We're gonna go through the first round right here. After you complete it, try and repeat it twice. If you are sincerely crazy and serious about upper body gains, then I dare you to do it three times. Let's get into this one. And for reference, I'm personally gonna be using a pair of 25 pound dumbbells here. We're gonna begin right now with our very first exercise, turn your shoulders, we get Arnold press. You're gonna start, palms facing in, and then out at the top, coming down, palms facing in, we got a total of 15 repetitions. Ready, and go. Nice, slow, and under control. As soon as you get to the top, right back down there. Always focusing on our breathing, Five, ten more. Nine, eight, halfway. Seven, six, five more. After this, we're gonna get some rows for the back. Four, three, two more. Last one, and perfect. We're gonna be getting 15 reps here for the rows while we're gonna be doing it bent over. Back about a 45, butt out, lower back nice and straight. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come out wide, hold for a second, and then come down. Out, hold, squeeze shoulder blades, coming right back down, we got a total of 15 repetitions. Ready, and go. Squeeze and hold that, and coming down. We're holding at the top there for a full second, and then slowly coming back down. Squeeze the scapula together as hard as you can, four, Five, this is how you can activate the upper back to an extreme amount. Seven, eight, halfway. Nine, attack, five more. Four, three more. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, two more. Down nice and slowly, and good. We're hitting the deck here on our back. We're going to be getting chest flies for again, 15 repetitions. Now, when we're doing these, we're doing them a bit different than you normally would. You're gonna come down with a one, two, three second tempo, and then back up. One, two, three second tempo, and back up. Ready? And go. Now, the reason we're doing this three second tempo is just so that we can overload the eccentric or the negative portion of the lift to demand more out of the muscles and to get more of those micro muscle tears from this workout. This is just a good way to increase the intensity because I find when doing chest flies on the ground and not on a bench, you're not able to target the chest as much unless you do the slow negative there. Six, seven, squeezing the chest, focusing on the chest whenever just going through the motions here. Eight, halfway. Nine, six more. Good, as soon as those elbows touch the ground, come right back up. Four, three, two more. Nice and slow on the way down. Last one. And good, coming back up here. Next exercise, we've got some shrug rolls. So, the way people traditionally do this, I'll step close to the camera so you guys can see. Just up and down. What we're gonna do is up, roll back, and down. Up, roll back, and down for a total of 15 repetitions. Squeeze those traps, get them up as high as you possibly can. Ready? And go. Squeeze and roll. Good. Squeeze and roll. This is gonna increase the time under tension to demand more of the traps with even a light weight like some 25s. Four, five, Six, getting them up as high as you possibly can. Really emphasizing that roll. I'll give you a good example of this. Nine, 10, five more. Good, four, three, two, last one, and good. Dropping one of the dumbbells here. We're gonna be getting next for the triceps some overhead single arm extensions. So you're gonna bring the dumbbell down, hand on the hip, this will help you with your balance. Coming down, 
and we're aligning that dumbbell to come down as if it were to be just following the route of our spinal cord here. We got 10 total repetitions, get down nice and low. Ready? And go. Good. Squeeze the hell out of the tricep at the top of the motion there. Two, three, and after we get 10, we're gonna switch arms. Four, five, bring that dumbbell down nice and low, as low as you possibly can, where you're feeling comfortable. If you're feeling it in the shoulders and the elbow, modify the distance, shorten it up a bit. Three more, two, last one, slow on the way down, and then back up. Good. Switching arms, ready, and go. Now I forgot to mention, I mentioned that the last two reps there, we're coming down nice and slow, overloading the eccentric there as much as we possibly can. Nice one, two, three, and up. Six more. That's it. Five. Four, squeeze that tricep. Three. Nice stretch on the way down. Two. Nice and slowly. Last one. And good. Now, for the biceps, shake the hands out. They get a little bit crampy when you're doing a lot of dumbbell work. Continuously, that is. We got a lot of time and attention for the upper body. We're going to be getting some 21s. Now, how are you going to perform this? There's three motions. You're going to get seven halfway reps. Seven top halfway reps and then seven full reps. Squeeze the biceps, we're going through it once, and then we got a final exercise directly after. Seven to the first half. Ready? And go. One. Two, slow and under control, baby. Three. Four, squeeze that bicep. Five, both of them, I should say. Six, seven, and hold seven from the top now. Six, five, only coming down to about halfway. You guys can see from the side there. Four, three, two, one more, and full repetitions now, seven reps. Ready, and go. Six, five, four, three more. Push through. Two. Last one, and good. Drop the weight for a second. Shake out those hands. We got our final exercise, and this one's for the forearms. It's really gonna help with your strength and the size of the muscle here. We're gonna be doing some hex holds. So, how are you gonna grab the dumbbells? And if you can't do this because you don't have this type of dumbbell, just do some wrist curls. How are you gonna do this? You're gonna grab it by the top. You're gonna hold it out to the side. We're gonna be doing both at the same time, and we're going for a max time. We're gonna be doing two total sets here. I'll give you a rest of about 15 seconds in between each one, and then that completes this round. We're gonna pick them up, ready, and go. Holding that, and what I want you to do is squeeze that thing as hard as you possibly can. Really demand the most out of those forearms. If you find yourself dropping your dumbbells while I still have mine in my hands, go ahead, shake them out, pick them back up, and continue with me. Squeezing that as hard as you possibly can. You don't stop until they fall out of your hands. <sighs> Squeeze those forearms. <sighs> Left one's down. One will typically give out before the other one. <sighs> That's fine. Shake those out. We got one more set here. Target those forearms. <sighs> Shake them out. Five more seconds. Four, <clears throat> three, two, one. Let's get it. Squeeze those things hard as you possibly can. Come on now. Try and beat me if you can. Try and hang on longer than I am. Squeeze those dumbbells. Hold on for dear life. Left is gone. Hang on with the right. There you guys go. A quick home upper body dumbbell workout. Now, as I said, you want to push yourself, go ahead and repeat this video a total of two times. You think you're really crazy, why don't you try it three times? And if you do get to the second or the third round, be sure to let your boy know down in the comment section. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. I'll see you in the next video.